You might be asking yourself, what is all this? Well, it's the guts of my 2015 Retina Display 5K iMac. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn it into a standalone monitor. This project centers around the LG 5K Retina Display from the 2015 iMac. Even though this panel is nearly a decade old, it's 5120 by 2880 resolution and 500 nits of brightness deliver stunning visuals. It's a testament to Apple's commitment to high quality displays over the years. To bring back life to this display, I used the 1811 V4 driver board. This enables a full 5K resolution at 60 Hz over DisplayPort 1.4. Compared to older driver boards, the 1811 offers better heat management, improved stability, and seamless compatibility across the board. The 2015 model is rated at 91% DCI P3, while the later 2017 and 2019 displays bump that number up to 99 for even better color accuracy. These later displays also feature True Tone technology for automatic color temperature adjustments. Building the monitor took only a couple hours. After removing the iMac internals, I connected the 1811 to the display's LVDS port, secured the board. Next, I went ahead and connected the power supply. It's not hard, but it does require some patience. Now onto performance. Once I connect it to my MacBook, it takes a couple seconds, but there it goes, it's on. Like I said again, one area where the 2017 and 2019 models pull ahead is in color depth and brightness uniformity. But unless you're a color artist like myself working on HDR content, the difference is minor. Now comparing this to the new 24 inch IMAX, you can see the displays fare similarly. However, the extra three inches is a nice added bonus as well as the increase in overall pixel count. So to me, with this display just sitting around, it seems like a great project to take on, and why not? Compared to the Apple Studio display, this thing fits and functions with the Apple ecosystem so well. Sure, it might lack some of the added features you find on newer models. However, still at 60 Hertz and a 5K resolution, you really can't beat that. If you have any suggestions as far as what I should do with some of my old tech, go ahead and leave a comment below, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.